They're chained. Anyone? Please, help me. Oh, sir. Sir, sir, hey. Oh, okay, never mind. I'm so hungry. I just wish someone could give me like two cents. Oh, great. Now it's raining. Oh my goodness. What are you doing in the rain? Oh, me? I'm homeless. I have nowhere to go. Homeless? Well, that's sad. Here, have a million dollars. A million dollars? I can't accept this. It's so much money. Besides, why do you even have just a million dollars laying around? <laughs> we don't just have a million. We have billions. We're billionaires. Whoa. Well, thank you. This is the kindest thing anyone's ever done. Better yet, why don't we just adopt you? Whoa. Oh no! I broke the vase! Oh, wait, way to go! What am I supposed to do now? I bet that was wicked expensive! You loser! Watch where you're going! I'm sorry, I'm just not used to all these really fancy things around me. That's because you're just some poor loser! Hey, I'm not a loser! <laughs> Oh, yeah, you are. I don't even know why my parents adopted you in the first place. Girls? G girls, where are you? There you are. <laughs> I heard a loud noise. What is going on? The poor girl broke your vase, Mom. Oh, Stephanie, she's not a poor girl. She's your sister. Ew! Ugh, I hate it! I'm sorry, Mom. It was an accident, I promise. Don't worry, dear. We'll just buy another one. Or I can try to replace it. <laughs> With what money? I don't know. I, I bet I could get a job or, or something. Thing. You know what, Mom? Can we buy another sister? Because honestly, I don't like this one. No, Brittany is a part of this family. You need to get along. Maybe she's right. I should just go back to being homeless. I don't belong here. Oh, don't be silly. We want you in this family. Well, it sure doesn't seem like my sister Stephanie wants me. It's okay. I'm sure she'll learn to get along with you. What? No, I won't. Whoa, whoa, dear, relax. What if I give you $500? Fine. Thanks, Mom. There you go. Money fixes everything. Here we are, ladies. Have a great day. Awesome. Thank you so much for the ride, Niles. Of course, Miss Britt. Anything for you? Niles, don't forget to bring me my latte before lunch. Well, of course, Miss Stephanie. And don't be late. Wait a second. He brings you coffee? Well, duh. Wow. That's so cool. Look, now that you've been adopted by billionaires, you need to start acting like one. How do I do that? I always just try to be myself. <laughs> well, yourself was a boring, broke homeless girl. Things change. So should you. Now, come on. I don't want to be late. Let's go. Miss Louise, all right. Oh, my gosh. Here are my friends. Hey, girls. Hi. Um, what's this? Oh, my new adopted sister. Oh, she's a billionaire, too? I guess. Well, hi, guys. It's nice to meet you. I'm Brittany. I'm Taylor. Don't you just love meeting other rich people? Um, I guess. <laughs> but money doesn't really matter to me. <gasps> really? But, like, how? Oh, my gosh. Girls, get a load of this. She used to be homeless. Ow! OMG, what? Gross. Yeah, tell me about it. We can't be friends with her. What if being poor is contagious? Wait, are you serious? I mean, how are we supposed to know? I've never been poor. Yeah, on second thought, Stephanie, we're all set. We don't want to talk to you or your sister. She looks like a gross loser anyway. Yeah, totally. Gross loser. Girls, wait up! Uh, Brett, way to go! What? I mean, I'm sorry, but don't you think they were kind of being mean? No, you're ruining my life! I I'm sorry, I'm just trying to fit in. Well, you're obviously not trying hard enough. You're terrible, be better! I'm gonna go catch up with my friends. Girls, wait! Wait up! Brittany! Come on, dear, open the door! No, thank you! You can't stay locked in there forever! That's okay, I'm gonna try! That's it, we're coming in! Niles! Why, yes, sir! Open the door for us, please! Right away, ma'am! There you are! Thanks, Niles. Yes, thank you. My pleasure. What's the matter, Britt? You seem sad. Yes, would some diamond earrings help? <laughs> I mean, that always cheers your mother up. No, but thanks anyway. Well, dear, if we can't fix it with a gift, then tell us what's going on. Well, I'm just trying really hard to fit in, but nobody seems to like me. <laughs> oh, who cares? 
Well, I do. I don't want everyone hating me without getting the chance to know me first. Well, dear, why don't you just do what we do? What's that? Well, you see, we just pay people to like us. Wait, what? Are you serious? Of course. Everyone loves money. So if we give people money, they'll love us. I don't know. Don't you think that's a little strange? <laughs> well, dear, it's only strange because you didn't really have money before. Exactly. It's pretty simple. Yeah, but like, what if you ran out of money one day? Then what? <laughs> oh, <laughs> don't be silly. That'll never happen. You know, I've been thinking and you really need to look better. Wait, really? I mean, I don't think I look that bad. <laughs> yeah. Okay, sure. Whatever you think. Oh, hello there. Excuse me, but do you know how to get to the grocery store? I don't know, but how about I give you $100 and you go away? Uh. Just take the money and stop bothering me. But uh, I just need to get some olive loaf. Oh, well, the grocery store is just like right around the corner. Go to the end of the street, take a ride, and you can't really miss it. Jeez, thanks. So annoying. Okay, come on, let's go. Hmm, okay, where do we even start? Whoa, <gasps> check this place out. There's like a million pairs of clothes in here. Yeah, and everything is way better than what you have. Come on, I'm gonna pick some things out for you. Okay, sure. We'll grab these. Oh, oh, and this over here. Mm-hmm, that bag is everything. And this. Okay, now you need to go try those things on. Uh, okay, sure. Here we go. Yes! You look so expensive. Really? I don't know. I literally feel like I look like an alien right now. Who cares? Now come on, let's go. I want to go get a boba tea. I still really don't know if I'm vibing with this outfit. Quiet down, Brit. Oh my gosh. Okay, so you're taking that outfit? Well, your total is going to be $10,762. What? Are you serious? Ew, don't be so embarrassing. Here's my card. Great. Um, your card is declined. Wait, what? Excuse me? Yeah, your card. It's declined. Oh my gosh, what the heck does that even mean? Um, it means we can't pay for the clothes. No, no, there, there's gotta be a mistake. Uh, no mistake. You must be poor. What? No, look. Lady, I'm a billionaire. I'm not poor. Yeah, okay, whatever you say. Wait a sec. Did I hear there's a poor person in this store? Yeah, there's two. We're not poor. OMG, I can't be seen around poor people. Wait, what the heck? Do all rich people act like this? Um, store worker girl, can you get them out? I need you two to get out of my store right now. I hate poor people in yeah, Steph, let's get out of here. Poor? No, 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 and this has to be a nightmare. I know. How could this even happen? It makes no sense. Well, I'm sure there's some reason. Or maybe it's a mistake. Brittany's right. Uh, I'm sure everything will be okay. <laughs> we can't be poor. We need to fix this. Don't worry, I'm gonna go call my lawyer. Family's all you need at the end of the day. Ew. Well, I guess that's comforting. It's true. At the end of the day, family's all you need. Well, how would you know? You were poor and had no family. That's why we adopted you. You know what? This has to all be Brittany's fault. Yeah, this is all her fault. Wait, what? No. Oh, don't be silly, Stephanie. No, Mom. It's true. We had plenty of money before she was here. Hmm. That is true. There's no way this could be my fault. I bet you stole the money. <gasps> what? I would never steal. You're my family. So, um, no need to panic, but it is true. We are now poor. Oh, the horror. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh. <laughs> you know what? That is it. Brittany, get out. Wait, what? Wait, uh, what did she do? She stole all our money. Oh, well, uh, that is not okay. What? No, I didn't do it. Trust me. Wow, and now she's lying? Leave this house immediately. Well, at least I know I have one person I can turn to. Best friend, Sophie. Sophie? Hey, Sophie, are you home? Sophie? Howdy, Bessie. What's shaking? Hey, Soph, would you mind if I came in for a little bit and I stayed with you too? Girl, of course not. Come on in. Thanks. Um, what you up to, pal? Oh, you know, I'm trying to practice some new BMX tricks. Why wouldn't you be doing that outside? <laughs> no way. <laughs> girl, inside is way better. So, girl, what's got you down in the dumps? My 
My new parents kicked me out. Fail? I know. They lost all their money and they blamed me. Isn't that absolutely crazy? Well, yeah. But did you steal the money? What? No, absolutely not. Why would you ever think that? Hey, you know, I wasn't sure. But if you have an extra million laying around, uh, <laughs> I'll take care of it. Seriously, Sophie? Hey, it was worth a shot. Wait, where do you think you're going? I'm hungry. Come on, let's hit the burger shop. All right. Wait. This is weird. What's Stephanie doing over there? I don't know. Looks like she's crying to me. Oh my gosh. I have to make sure she's okay. But isn't she the reason you were kicked out? So I know, but I can't stand to see anyone upset. Hey, Stephanie. Stephanie, what's going on? Leave me alone. Girl, we heard you crying. Who even are you? Nah, don't worry about it. I'm having a bad day, okay? Now that I have no money, none of my friends want to be friends with me anymore. Wait, Seriously? Well, yeah. Nobody likes poor people. Ew. Look, poor people. Scram, mean lady. <laughs> Whatever. See? I told you. Don't worry. I'll be your friend. Really? You will? Of course. Girl, are you sure? After all she's done to you. Of course, Sophie. Everyone deserves a second chance. Honestly, though, everyone deserves some french fries, and I'm gonna go get some. See ya. Thanks, Britt. That's really nice of you. You didn't have to forgive me. Oh, don't mention it. That's what family's for. Come on, please. Can Brittany come back? But she stole. No, she didn't. I made it up. Stephanie. I know. I was wrong. Well, Britt, we are very sorry. Will you ever forgive us? Yeah. What do you say? Of course. Oh, my pineapples. What was that? That sounded terrifying. What could it have been? <gasps> We've been wrong. Oh my goodness, you're right. Everything's gone. As if life couldn't get any worse. Wait, <gasps> my jewelry, no! Wait, what's wrong? My jewelry's missing. My diamonds. Oh my goodness, what on earth is going on here? Everything is falling apart. You're right, it is. Oh, no. Wait, okay, before we get too carried away, um, doesn't a house this size usually have security cameras or something? Well, yeah, before we lost all of our money, now we can't afford to keep them on. It's true. <laughs> Hold on. Wait just a second. I recognize this. Isn't that Jim Waller's hair comb? How on earth did that get here? Last time we saw him, we were on vacation in Europe. He never leaves home without his lucky comb. You don't think the robber could be? <laughs> no, impossible. This guy is the best detective in town. Yeah. It's true. I am the best. Well then, do you think you can help us? Of course. There's no case I can't solve. Fantastic. So, uh, do you have any leads? We do. We actually might know exactly who did it, but... Ah, uh, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold that thought. Yep, alone? Well, that's just insane. No way. Absolutely not. Nope. Goodbye. Hey, sorry about that. That was my mother. She asked if I wanted a spinach casserole for dinner. Oh, well, that dinner sounds terrible. Anyways, like I was saying, we might exactly know who the robber was. It might be one of my parents' friends. Oh, wow. How scandalous. Not unheard of, but still scandalous. So we need your help getting proof. Yeah, what do you say? Do you think you can help us out? Yeah. I say I need a down payment and then we can get on the case. Uh-oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah, about that. Uh, well, you see, they robbed us. We're broke. What the heck are you doing in here then? What do I look like? A charity? But sir, please. Yeah, let me think about it. No! Come Come on, we truly need your help. And I need money. Now get lost. I wonder who that could be. I'm surprised the doorbell even works, honestly. Yeah, me too. Hear ye, hear ye. You're cordially invited to the biggest party of the year. The neighborhood rich person party. <gasps> Whoa, really? Oh, uh, <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Wrong house. Wrong house? Yeah, I forgot. You're actually not invited. But why? We're always invited to these parties. <laughs> well, because you're poor. Good day. Oh, man. That's a bummer. Honestly, I, I, I can't believe it. Don't worry, Mom. Don't be so upset. It's too late. Do people only like us and care about us when we have money? I don't know. It sure kind of seems that way right now. I just... Oh, I can't. <laughs> 
Look, Mom, don't worry. All those fancy friends don't really matter anymore. But Brittany, dear, if I don't have my fancy rich friends, then I have nobody. Mom, I mean, look at the mess we're in. Someone who you thought was your friend could actually have been the one that robbed us. Well, I, I guess you do have a point there. Exactly. So who needs them? All we gotta do is expose the Wallers for who they really are. But how? No one will help us. I think I have an idea. So how do I look? Like you're ready to serve some rich people some shrimp. Yes, this is perfect. Oh, I'm nervous, but girl, this is the best idea we came up with. I know, and I'm so ready to spy on some rich folks. Whoa, hey, Sophie, wait, just one second. Oh, what is it? Just remember, I know you're excited, but we have to stay focused here. We're on a mission. I was born focused. Oh, oh look over there, butterfly. Oh, boy. Oh, look at this place. Super, super fancy. Wow. Well, I mean, I gotta be honest. This is lame. Rich people are so boring. I know. Look, there's like a ton of them out there, but who comes to a party and doesn't even dance? That's what I'm saying. Okay, so let's split up, but report back if you hear absolutely anything, okay? I'm on it. <laughs> is there anything I can get you fine folks? Uh, no, no, we're all set. Like I was saying, he's the best accountant this side of the Mississippi. Anything I can help you with? Why, yes, we've heard the caviar is great this time of year. Over here. Did you hear they're doing renovations to the country club? Which really are boring. No one's talking about anything fun. I'm gonna go see if Sophie heard anything. Nothing! Just the world's most boring conversations. I don't know, maybe spying just wasn't the right idea. Wait a second. Oh, <gasps> Sophie! I recognize those people from vacation photos. I'm so excited to never work a day in my life. And the best part is no one will ever know it was us who robbed them. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Let's go mingle, dear. <laughs> <gasps> oh my gosh, Sophie! Girl, I heard that loud and clear. I just can't believe it. They really thought that those people were their friends. Yikes. Talk about drama. I know. We have Proof. And that's how the cookie crumbles. <gasps> Never in a million years did I expect this from the Wallers. I know. We vacationed together. We were best friends. And then they betrayed us. Oof. Yeah, that, that's gotta hurt. I even shared my family's secret beef wellington <laughs> recipe with them. Mom, Dad, I'm so sorry about this. You know, dear, <laughs> I'm starting to believe that maybe losing this money was a good thing. What? What are you talking about? Yeah, I think dad's right. Now listen, this has made me realize that maybe all those friends only liked us for being billionaires. Mm-hmm. Now you're getting it, fancy man. It's true. At a time of need, friends come and support you. They don't abandon you. Preach it, sister. I mean, look at me and Britt. She was homeless, had nothing. Some might say she was a total loser. Hey, Sophie. What? But either way, I always believed that her life would turn around. And then when you two bozos kicked her out and blamed her for all this, who was there? Sophie. That's who. Well, maybe you're right. Maybe we shouldn't have paid people to be our friends. You pay them to be your friends? Hold on. You looking for any new friends? Oh my gosh, Sophie. What? I'm just curious. Sorry. Look, okay, now that we have the evidence we need, Mom and Dad, we need to expose the Wallers. What if they do this to another family? We gotta stop them. Brittany's right. Maybe we send out a tweet? What is this, 2010, lady? We need to expose these people big time. I've got it. Let's bring this to the news. Everyone loves a good scandal. While you do that, I need a word with these Wallers. Britt, you're coming with me. All right, here we are. Time for some confrontation. You sure about this? Hello, Margaret? I don't know if they're home, Mom. Hey, excuse me, can I help you? Yeah, we're here to talk to the Wallers. Ha, huh, not gonna happen. Sir, let us in. Yeah, I'm afraid that's a big fat no. But please, just for a minute, we just wanna talk to them. Absolutely not. <gasps> there she is. Ha, huh, never mind. Margaret. Uh-oh. I need a word with you. How dare you do this to my family? Oh, whatever do you mean? We have proof that you and your husband were the ones that robbed my family. Quiet down, you brother. I don't want the neighbors to hear. If you want to talk, well, go inside. The nerve. After all I've done for you. <laughs> Whatever. You know, you could end this all now if you just gave my family their money back. No, find us keepers. So you admit it. You did steal from us. Ah! Mom, mom, I want Legos. 
Mommy's a little busy right now, Jeffrey. I said I want Legos, woman. Fine, Jeffrey. Here, take this money and get lost. Ha ha. Woohoo! So what if I stole? We're super rich now, and you're poor. Ha ha ha. You are a mean, terrible woman. And your point? And your cooking is always terrible. <gasps> Hell. Could you? Security! You get these peasants off my property immediately! Right away, ma'am. Right away. Come on. Run along. Man, that lady's the worst. Crazy wannabe rich couple. The Wallers turned into robbers. Will their crime spree ever end? More news at 11. I can't believe it, Dad. We did it. I know, right? All thanks to you. Honestly, without you and this family, we would have never figured this out. Aw, well, it's the least I can do. You guys helped me out when I was out on my luck, so I just returned the favor, really. You know, you're right. Oh, wait a minute. That must be the banker now. I wonder what he's gonna say. Yep. Uh-huh. Wow, okay, I'll, I'll be right there. Well, what did he say? He said he was able to get all of our billions back. I just have to go down to the bank and sign some paperwork. Come with me. We'll get ice cream to celebrate after. Awesome. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited this is all working out. <gasps> no, wait a minute. It's you. You ruined our lives. No way. You did this to yourselves. Well, we would have gotten away with it if they never adopted you. Well, it serves you right. Yeah, Jim. How could you do this? I thought we were friends. Yeah, <laughs> guess again, buddy. We were never friends. I tell your wife her recipes were awful. Hey, that's not very nice. My mom's an awesome cook. Whatever. You'll pay for this. I am simply having the worst day ever. Guys, you won't believe it. I was just casually making a pizza at my house, and then I fell asleep on the couch, and all of a sudden my house was on fire, and it burnt to the ground because of the pizza. So now I am literally just stuck in Bloxburg, homeless, and I don't know what to do. So I decided I'm just honestly gonna live by this dumpster and maybe, just maybe, someone out there will donate some money to me, or not even money, at least just like food or something, because being homeless is awful. This is so sad. Oh, what am I gonna do now? Oh no. It's Millionaire Melissa. Ah, one of my biggest nemesis in all of Roblox. I can't believe it. So, oh my gosh, it's you. Hey there, Melissa. What do you want? To love the look girl? Ha <laughs> ha. She's making fun of me. You know what? I can't help this. Look, this isn't on purpose. I'm homeless now and I don't need your mean words that are probably gonna come out of your mouth because all you are is a mean girl. I said, stop it, no way. Yeah, why would I lie about being homeless? It's not like a glamorous thing. Haha, <laughs> ha, this is perfect. How? You're to your true, poor form? <gasps> I knew you were always a loser. Hey, that's not cool. Oh, Melissa, you just make me so mad. I can't even speak sometimes. <gasps> Noob Natalie? She's saying, hey, stop it. Oh my goodness, guys, I think she's sticking up for me. I can't believe it. Are you a noob? Hey, leave her alone. She seems like the sweetest noob of all time. I mean, she didn't have to come in and like try to stand up for me. So you need to leave this girl alone? Yeah, Melissa, take note from a noob. You need to leave me alone. It's not cool. Millionaire Melissa said, fine, whatever. Whoa, that was like the easiest I've ever seen seen anyone like tell off millionaire Melissa. Usually she has a lot of fight in her, this girl. <laughs> Said hang out with the poor loser. Yeah, Melissa, get going. Said bye losers. Oh my gosh, I, I can't thank you enough, Natalie. Natalie, thank you. You are so kind. She really didn't have to stick up for me, but she did and that's so awesome. Said of course, that girl is rude. You're telling it me. And this is really sweet because Queen Love is also asking if I'm okay. There are nice people in Bloxburg. For a minute there, I ran out of hope. But look, I have this awesome noob and Queen Love also sticking it for me. Oh, I get made fun of all the time. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry. Said it's okay. They just don't know any better. You are one smart noob. 
Oh my gosh, that girl donated money to me? I, I can't believe it. Hold on, new Natalie. I, I gotta donate this back to her. I, I feel really bad. I'm not asking for donations. 150. Just because that is so sweet. And I'm gonna say thank you for being so kind. Now back to talking to noob Natalie. I I'm so sorry, I, I abandoned our conversation. I didn't really mean it. So she's saying, do you need a ride home or something? She's saying I look lost. Um, I'm actually homeless. So I don't need a ride home because, well, I don't have one. And Natalie seems shook. I know. I can't believe it either. It was this crazy pizza incident and my house caught on fire. I'm not good at making pizza. So neither am I, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's awesome. We have it in common that we're both not good cooks. Said, so, would you like to come stay with me? <gasps> oh my gosh, seriously? Are you really saying that? She is so nice. And I mean, being a noob, this is awesome. Yes, of course. <gasps> oh my gosh. Well, I, I gotta say, yeah, of course. This is so nice. I can't believe it. My day started off pretty awful. And now it seems to be turning around. I'm so excited. Noob Natalie is so incredibly nice. Wow, Noob Natalie, I have to say, you are a really impressive driver. You're so much better than I am. I'm saying, um, where is my house? Yikes! Maybe just keep driving? I I'm sorry, I don't know where your house is either. Hopefully we can find it soon. Oh, 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 oh um, uh, <gasps> We're here. Wow, I can't believe it. This is a beautiful home. Wow, this is amazing. Guys, have you ever seen a noob house like this? She's saying, is it? Yeah. Did you build it yourself? It's so modern and like super cool. I'm just, I'm obsessed. I kind of like, I don't know. I wish my house was like this. <laughs> Said I did come inside. Sure thing. <laughs> Whoa. <gasps> Look at that chandelier. Oh my goodness. <gasps> she is watching Unica. Oh my goodness. This is amazing. And plus, I love this show. It's one of Noob Natalie's favorite shows. Girl, we are gonna be like close friends. Anyone who's a Unica lover is a fan and a friend to me. <gasps> yes! <laughs> I love this. I need to get more of this house. I can't believe how beautiful your house is. Aw, thank you. I worked really hard on it. This is absolutely amazing. <gasps> and I love her curtains. Oh, are those new, girl? I love it. Said, so, want a snack? That sounds awesome. Oh, I wonder what she's gonna make. Uh, hopefully it's uh, not pizza because I don't want another incident. Nope, nope, I am quitting pizza as of today. Oh, she made PB and J. Yes, I will take that. Oh my goodness. Guys, honestly, I could go for PB and J like right this second. <laughs> she said, I don't have anyone over. This is so fun. Wait, you don't? How come? I mean, this house is amazing. I would literally want to show it off to absolutely everyone in town because I, I love it. I'll be your friend. Oh my goodness. She said, people just call me a dumb noob and block me. Not on my watch. You stuck up for me, so I'll do the same. Cause that is what a true friend does, guys. They don't let people make fun of their friends. Natalie says, really? Girl, yeah. Oh, she's saying I'm so cool. She is flattering me too much. I'm gonna end up blushing. <laughs> Natalie says we should throw a party. Yes, we totally should. We should invite everyone. Yes, <laughs> I love the idea of throwing a dance party, Natalie. That would be so much fun. How about we plan it together? So yes, I love that idea. Perfect. Yay! Oh my gosh. Guys, I am super, super excited. Natalie and I have a party to plan, yes! I am so excited. The party day is finally here, everyone. And Natalie and I have been planning this party 
property for so long and I am so excited. I'm literally jumping on my bed. And also check out the super cute guest room that Natalie built for me. I love it. And honestly, I don't wanna sound like superficial or anything. She legit is a, like the most rich noob I've ever met in my life. But anyway, let's get ready. Woo! Oh my gosh, yes, my girl Natalie. She's got that music bump in and we have the balloons. We got the bubbles, we got the candy and we got the good music, yes! I am so excited for today. So me too, you did such a good job decorating. Oh, honestly, I've always wanted to be a party planner so I am so happy to be able to do this. Did you remember to invite the whole town? I think I did, yes. LOL, did you hit the button? It, it's right here, throw party, but it's not my house. And I know that Natalie did, so I am so excited. Oh, oh man, she said she hit the button like 50 times. <gasps> Classic noob, but all right. So any minute now, the guests should be here. I, I gotta check in the mirror. How does my hair look? Does it look good? Do I look presentable? Am I like, I don't know. Am I even ready for this? <laughs> it's millionaire Melissa. Natalie's welcoming her to the party. Okay, you know what? That's true. We did invite everyone on the server, so it's nice of her to show up. So I'm gonna say nice to see you again. So it's you two. Are you here to party? I mean, maybe finally. <laughs> it's gonna be the day that Melissa is not mean to us. The homeless and the noob? <gasps> Are you serious? Did you come here to make fun of us? Said it's not a party unless I'm here, but this? What do you gotta say now, Melissa? Is that it? No, 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 no. Natalie, don't listen to her. She doesn't know what she's talking about. This is not a pathetic party. We worked super hard on it. Why did you even come? I mean, you saw that noob Natalie threw it and you already hated her from day one. So like, why do you even show up? That I don't hang out with poor people and noob? Well, you know what? That's fine, Melissa. You can leave. You're saying the decorations are awful? No, they're not. Look, who doesn't love a good party banner and balloons and a bubble machine and candy? Ooh, noob Natalie, she's saying, you know what? You need to go. Guys, this is super awkward. Now Melissa's saying, make me noob. And now she's just dancing in our faces. Easy, Natalie says. Uh-oh, um, do you guys think she's gonna block her? Oh my gosh, she said bye. <laughs> <laughs> Natalie, I can't believe that. Did you kick her? <laughs> what a rude girl. Yeah, you're right. She is super rude. And honestly, I feel bad. I ruined the party. Millionaire Melissa is still in the chat saying, gross noobs, look at her. Can we shut these curtains? <gasps> we can. Mm, bye. <laughs> there you go, Natalie. Uh, don't worry about her. She's out of here and I'm really sorry again. I made this party super lame. I know. Wait, what? I didn't ruin it? Really? Maybe my decorations are stupid. Maybe she was right. I mean, no one else showed up, so I feel really bad. Natalie's saying yes, really, but I feel like I failed. Did you did such a good job decorating and getting everything ready? That's really, really sweet. I hope you don't think I ruined your party because I would just feel so bad. You've been so nice to me. Oh, she said I did such a good job at this party. I love it. Natalie, you are too kind. Thank you Thank you so much. That's so nice to say. So your next party is gonna be awesome too? Wait, so you think I shouldn't give up? So never feel bad for doing your best? Guys, you know what? I need to listen to Natalie because she's right. You should never ever feel bad if you try super hard. Even if it didn't work out, it doesn't matter. You can always try again. So no, never give up. You killed it, girl. Oh, <laughs> thanks Natalie. That's so sweet of you to say. This is why you're one of my new best friends. So now let's have fun. You know what? Yes, I see a bowl of candy and I need to eat it. <laughs> okay, so guys, it's been quite a few years since the last time I threw a party at Natalie's house and I am so excited to be here. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Everyone else, come to the party. I'm 
gonna invite them again just because, you know, sometimes Natalie does forget to throw an invite. Yes, we are going to the party. <laughs> so this is the best party ever. Yeah, I'm having so much fun. And sure, it's a little early, so we don't have everyone here yet, but I am so excited. I mean, I'm not gonna toot my own horn, but uh, yeah, I've kind of like stepped up my uh, decoration skills. Look at this crazy cool sparkler fountain. That is sick. I love it. <laughs> so Britt, you did such a good job decorating. Thank you so much. Party planning has become my fave thing. So I'm keeping everything up all year round. <laughs> Natalie, you are too kind. Thank you so much. And honestly, this has just been so much fun. Said so you're so good at it. Well, honestly, guys, if it wasn't for Natalie, I probably would have quit my party planning job like years ago. And now I'm booked like all the time to throw awesome parties for like celebrities and famous athletes and uh, tons of other people. I'm even booked to plan a wedding, guys. How much fun is this? I couldn't have done it without you, Nat. She gave me the confidence that I really, really needed. I mean, there was a lot of obstacles I had to get through. I was homeless. I was being picked on by millionaire Melissa. And now I'm like a huge party planner in Bloxburg. So honestly, Natalie, thank you so much for everything. I said, aw, <laughs> you could have. You just needed someone to believe in you. I'm glad you were the one who believed. And I will always believe in you guys. <laughs> Natalie has completely changed my life. I don't know where I'd be without her and I just can't thank her enough. So thanks for being my friend. Well, thanks for being the coolest noob ever. Now, girl, how about we quit talking and start dancing? We have angelic person over here. Oh my God, she grabbed a balloon. I didn't know you could grab a balloon. Oh my gosh. Let's party girls. Woo! <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have the best day ever. Today in Bloxburg, I ran into a girl named Samantha. She claimed to have all this money and that she was the richest girl in Bloxburg. But when we started hanging out, the story started to change. Make sure you watch to the end of the video to see Samantha's shocking secret. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm hanging out downtown today and I was thinking of maybe doing a little bit of shopping for my house, but uh, I already have this plant in that one and I don't want a new bookshelf because I don't really like the one that I have already. Ooh, new day to go to work? Nope, not today. Uh, speaking of which though, I'm actually probably gonna get in some trouble because guys, I have not been to my job at the hair salon in so long and I'm pretty sure my boss like is gonna be super, super mad if she sees that I'm outside shopping when I probably should be at work. But uh, hey, you know, I, I guess it's not a big deal, right? Maybe I'll go over and like apologize and check in on my friends at work and see how they're doing. Oh, who Who's this girl? Samantha Rich. She says, hi. Hey, let's open the chat and say, hey girl, I like your outfit. It's super, super cute, guys. I mean, look at her. She's like decked out in all Louis Vuitton. She's got the back, she's got the wrap shirt, and she just looks super cute. She says, oh my gosh, me too. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a little confidence for you, huh? She said, oh, she likes mine. <laughs> Why, thanks. I mean, my outfit's cool and all, but it's not as, like, bougie as hers. I mean, her name is Samantha Rich. Do you think that means she's, like, crazy, crazy rich? It's kind of bragging if you ask me, but hey, you know? Oh, she said, it's new and so expensive. Wasn't I, like, just talking about bragging? And here she is, <laughs> over here bragging about how expensive her bag is. That's nice. I love fashion. Which is true. Fashion is like my favorite thing in the whole, whole world. Wow, she's just talking about how everything she owns is expensive. Hmm, I really don't like the sounds of that. It always makes me super uncomfortable when people talk about money. And this girl saying that she only likes designer clothes. She says, I can't be seen in basic clothes. Yikes, I don't even really know what to say about this. Uh, LOL. Yeah, that's cool, I guess. I mean, I don't really believe it. You can get clothes from anywhere. It's about your style, not how much money you pay for it. Whoa, she says you look kind of rich too, but not as rich as me. Oh, geez, girl's throwing some shade. She said, but you seem cool. Guys, comment down below. You think I'm cool, right? But she's asking if we can hang out. Sure, we can totally hang. 
Yay! <laughs> she looks excited. And I'm excited too. I love making new friends. Oh, she's asking if I want to see her house. I'd love a good house tour. So I'll let her know. Sure. That sounds fun. All right. It looks like Samantha's down to hang out and give me a tour of her house. And now she's asking if I have a car. Yeah. Right, right over there. See it? Oh. Oh, wait a minute. Now she's just like running over to my car. It's a little strange. Geez, Samantha says she has like 50 of these. Wow, that's wild. And now she wants me to give her guests and I can drive to her house. Oh, all right, I guess. <laughs> Here we go. Let, 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 stop moving, Samantha. I need to give you guests. All right, so let's Go to your place to make sure the top is down. Jeez, all right, my new friend Samantha seems a little pushy, but uh, maybe she just really knows what she wants and uh, w really wants me to drive her to her house with the top down on my Jeep. <laughs> all right, so let's go. Let's get out of here, Samantha. Oh wait, uh, hold on. I should probably ask her, uh, where's your place? I, I don't know, I hope I'm going in the right direction. She said it's only the biggest house in Bloxburg. Yikes, all right, so guys, I, I think Samantha Samantha is crazy rich. And she said it's up here on the right. All right, so here we go. Let's drive to Samantha's. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Look at this house. This is insane. And Samantha says this is it. Guys, I'm so excited. I literally like just hopped out of the car before she even said that this was the address. But look at this place. Wow. So what do you think? It's amazing. I mean, guys, look at, she has like an a million car garage. It's like all fenced in and it's huge. Wow. She said, yeah, it's okay. Samantha, no, like, how can you just say this is okay? She says it's kind of small. Girl, I wanna know what your definition of a small house is because this house is huge. No way. This is crazy. I'm like shocked. I've never seen a house this big in Bloxburg. I, I kinda wanna, you know, do some more exploring. Look at this fountain. Wow. <laughs> and Samantha says I'm being funny, but I mean, girl, come on. Look at this place. It is so beautiful, but wait a minute. Um, her mailbox is Tanya Tutu. She said you should check inside, but wait a minute. I mean, the mailbox is Tanya Tutu and her name's Samantha Rich. Something doesn't seem right here. I I'm going to ask, are you sure this is your house? I don't really understand. I said, yeah, duh. Okay, well, she wants me to go inside. So let's see. It seems like she has permissions to come in. Whoa. <gasps> This place is wild. It just gets fancier and fancier. But hold on, I'm getting distracted because I want to find out, is this really her place? But I have to ask, the mailbox says Tanya. And uh, she's not Tanya. And now she's saying her house is tiny. Girl, we all know this house is huge. I mean, how many houses in Bloxburg have not only one, but two fountains within like two feet from each other? And there's stars going up the stairs in this crazy cool custom chandelier. I mean, I just don't understand. She said, yeah, Tanya like built this house. Oh, are you like roomies? I don't really get it because you don't just like live in other people's houses last time I checked. Oh, well, she said she's in the process of buying it. Rich legal stuff. Uh, okay, so boring. <laughs> yeah, seems it. Can I have a tour? This place kind of does seem a little familiar. I feel like I've been here before, but I, I don't know. A lot of houses these days are kind of all built in the same style, so maybe that's why I'm feeling a little funky about it, but uh, all right, I'll follow her. Whoa, check this living room out. Girl, this is gorgeous. This is so pretty. This is living room one. There's more than one living room? Can that even be possible? That's crazy. She said there's like four of them. Wow, and a telescope. Look at the backyard. <gasps> it's so, so pretty. I'm gonna keep following her. Whoa. She said this is her music room. It's super basic. I think we have a different definition of what basic is. This is wild. I don't even know what to say. I feel like compliments just like don't even do its justice. She said I need to remodel this room later, but it looks perfect. Almost too perfect. Guys, 
I I'm getting a weird feeling that I've been here before. I mean, the kitchen definitely looks really, really familiar. So let me ask, how long have you lived here? I always have people cook for me, lol. Must be nice. I'm just cooking for myself over here, huh? But it, Samantha finally answered my question and she said she doesn't know how long she's lived here. She can't keep track. That kind of seems like an odd question to me or an odd answer to me, but uh, hmm, oh, whatever. I, I guess I'll mind my own business. And she said she has a ton of other houses. Wow, what do you do for work? I, I can't even imagine how she can afford multiple houses, especially if it's this big. I mean, maybe she's like a real estate investor or I don't know, maybe she's like secretly crazy famous. <laughs> oh, well, she said that she's just rich. I mean, I could kind of tell that from what you're wearing and how massive your house is. And she says she's just always been rich. Wow, <laughs> that's crazy. Good for you. <laughs> yeah, duh, lol. Hmm, Samantha's really uh into bragging about her wealth. That definitely is not a trait that I love in a friend, but I mean, she seems nice otherwise. Whoa, wait a minute. Um, I think someone's at your door. I hear like rustling and someone trying to get in. What is that? Should she go answer it? I mean, I I'm not gonna answer it, but like, it's just because it's not my house. She said, oh, we should go? Go where? She seems really stressed out. Like, what's going on? She said, follow me. Uh, oh, okay, sure. I I'll follow you. But where are we going? And she's shutting the door uh oh uh because this doesn't seem right but quickly like i'm gonna admire this backyard it's gorgeous where are we going i don't get it and she wants me to still follow her whoa whoa, whoa. uh what is wait a minute um what is this place it looks like a shack with like a sleeping bag and like pizza box i she said we should just hang out here. Ho hold on, I, I don't get it. Why? Shouldn't we be in your house? Wait, she said, okay, can I tell you the truth? Uh, sure. And promise you won't judge me? Of course, guys, if you wanna know anything about me, I never judge people and it, it seems like Samantha's really stressed out. And she says, since we're now friends, well, what's going on? She seems really, really upset. Hold on. She says, so this is actually where I live? <gasps> so she was lying. She wasn't really the person who owns that big house. She lives back here? I, I don't understand. And she's saying, yeah, yikes. I, I feel really bad. Tanya is my friend. <gasps> Wait, now that I'm thinking of it, I think I met Tanya from another video. But anyway, th that's besides the point. So she's crashing out here in this like little hut thing. So you don't have all that money? I mean, not that it matters, but I'm kind of upset that she was lying to me. I don't like being fooled, especially from people I just met. I really don't think that's cool. <sighs> she says I have money but not a lot. I feel so bad. Well, she has to stay here. I mean, that's super nice of Tanya to like give her a place to stay, but I don't get it. Why would you lie about money? You know, like you should just be truthful. Nobody cares if you're poor or rich. So no one likes poor people. I mean, I don't really think that's true. I like everyone. You should always be yourself. Poor Samantha. Maybe that's true. People will like you for you. You just have to be honest. Said, I just like being rich. Well, maybe one day, just keep working hard. And like I said, be yourself. But uh, whoa, I, I didn't really, oh, she said she hates working. Well, I mean, no one really loves working, but sometimes you just gotta do it because you need to make money. But uh, wow, it, it kind of looks like it's getting late. Well, maybe I should go. It's like 3 a.m. <laughs> it was nice to meet you. Oh, but she asked if we can still be friends. Of course, it was so nice meeting you. Yay, it seems like she's excited and I'm gonna do a little emote dance. Woo, yay, we can still be friends. But, but before I go, I should say, promise you won't lie anymore. 
Because mm -hmm. uh, rule number one of being friends with me, I don't like liars. So <laughs> hopefully, hopefully she promises not to lie. Oh, and she did. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Well, uh, I'm going to get out of here. So bye now. See you later. I can't believe it. I can't believe that Samantha pretended to be rich when she was actually secretly wicked poor. Wow. Guys, you should never ever be ashamed to be yourself. No matter how much money or what kind of house you have, anything like that. As long as you're a good person, people will like you. But all right, that's enough for me today. I'm going to go hop in my car and uh, get out of here before, I don't know, Tanya comes and finds me and kicks me out of her house. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Have you told the girls yet about your secret? I haven't, but it's for their own good, mother. I demand that you tell these girls at once. They deserve to know the truth about their mother. But I don't want the girls to know I'm a billionaire. They'll grow up spoiled. Well, you cannot hide the truth forever. And if you won't tell them, I will. Super good news, I got promoted at work. I'm gonna make like way more money now. Britt, can you move? I'm trying to watch TV. Brenda, do you seriously not care? This is exciting news. You should be proud of your sister. I'd be proud if you go get the sushi that I ordered. That must be what's at the door. Fine, Brenda, as long as you let me have a little piece of the California roll. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Just get out of the way. Hello? Oh, um, hi there. Oh, hello, dear. How are you? My, have you grown. I'm sorry. I think you might be at the wrong house. Who are you? It's me, your grandmother. Now, wait a minute. I think I do remember you, but I thought you lived super far away. What are you doing here? Girls, I'm ho Oh, mother, good to see you. It's been a while. Oh dear, enough of this. Where is your other daughter? They need to know now. Mother, I I'm not too sure about this. Mom, what's going on? Enough of this. Uh, mom, mom, no, please. Hey, wait, wait. Hello, who is this? Fierce old lady. Brenda, this is your grandmother. Girl, you got style. Nice to meet you, Granny. Girls, I have something I have to tell you. Your mother is a billionaire. Mom, why wouldn't you tell us this? You lied about being rich our entire lives. I didn't want you to know about this. I wanted you to work for your money and learn the value of a dollar. Oh, working's for the poor. It's almost insulting that you'd want my granddaughters to do such a thing. Speaking of which, I got a promotion at work. It's amazing, Brittany. Amazing? Brittany, I demand as your grandmother that you quit immediately. Girls in our family do not work. We're billionaires. Okay, Mom. I think it's about time that you leave. I I'll bring you to your car. Come along. I want all of the potato chips. All of them, Mom. You got that? Brenda, there's like a million bags of chips in this store. That's super expensive. Well, mom's a billionaire. She can buy us whatever we want now. Just because we have a little bit of money doesn't mean you get everything you want. Mom, if I want all the chips in the world, you better get me all the chips in the world. Brenda, you're being a brat. If I want something, you get it for me. You're the worst mom in the world. I hate you, I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. Brenda, you're being super embarrassing. Quiet down. I don't care. I'm a billionaire and I want what I want. Excuse me, what is the commotion here? I am distraught. My mom's a billionaire, but she won't give us any money. <laughs> she has so much. Well, that does seem quite outrageous. Ma'am, you should probably give your daughters a little bit of money. And if you don't, you'll be banned from the store. This is unbelievable. Uh, Brenda, you can have my credit card. Oh my gosh, you're amazing. I'm gonna go to the mall shopping. Thanks, bye. Sir, I am just so embarrassed. I am so sorry again for my daughter creating a scene. Honestly, it's fine. I just wanted her out of the store. Now come on right this way. I'll check you out. I have to tack on a hundred dollar billionaire fee, of course, for my troubles. Hey, Sophie. Well, hello there, Lady Brittany. What has gotten into you? Why are you being weird? Well, I saw that Brenda's been posting online all about you being a billionaire. Oh, oh my gosh. Ever since Brenda and I found out that our mom was secretly a billionaire, she's been going full on Brenda and acting crazy. Well, dude, no matter how much money you have, there's still the same old Brit to me. Oh my gosh, wait a minute. Is that you, Brit? Oh no, Brit, it's millionaire Melissa and Tammy Tortellini. The richest girls around. And they're like the most popular. Um, hey girls, <laughs> how's it going? Hey kids. Ew, don't talk to us, poor girl. Oh my goodness, so Brit, like we heard the news. So we came here to talk to you. Talk 
to me. About what? Um, about the fact that you're like a millionaire now. It's like so cool. You have more money than Melissa. Shut up, Timmy. <laughs> well, to be honest, I'm not rich. It's my mom who's secretly a billionaire. Yeah, but that's like the same thing as you being rich. Like, what are you even doing working still? Brent likes her job. She gets to hang out with me. It's true. I love working with my best friend. Ew, shut up, Sophie. Ugh, stop talking. Well, hey, we've been thinking we want to expand our circle of like super wealthy friends and invite you over for a party. Yeah, I'd love to go. Can I chop liver over here? Oh my gosh, no, absolutely not, Soph. I'll go, but only if Sophie can come too. Yeah, sure. Britt, come by my mansion later. We'll see you later. Honestly, Britt, I hate those girls. They're so rude and snobby. I know, but like everyone at school is gonna be at their party. It could be really fun. I don't get a good feeling about this. This house is unbelievable. It's huge. Britt, I'll be honest, I really don't feel like going to this party. I'm not gonna fit in. Oh, come on, it'll be fine. I mean, you got your best friend by your side. What's the worst that could happen? I feel like you always say that, and then the worst does happen. It's fine. Come on, Soph. We don't want to be late. Hello? Oh my gosh, welcome, Britt. You look amazing. Come on in. And Sophie, hi. Well, thank you guys so much for inviting us. This place is so cool. It's all right. You know, it's one of my smaller houses. My big real mansion is being renovated. Yeah, this house is like super small. And Sophie, this is a house. People live in these with money. Have you ever heard of that? Of course I've heard of it. Sure, I like a more rustic lifestyle, but that don't mean anything. Cute. Okay, so Britt, we made a cappuccino for you on the counter. It has gold in it. You should like totally have it. Gold cappuccino? Ooh. I don't think so. Yeah, loser, you can't touch that. Hey, what are you guys talking about? Yeah, what do you mean? You said you made an extra. Yeah, but like it's only for Brittany. Poor people can't tell the difference between good coffee and bad coffee. So like go to Dunkin' Donuts or something. You know what? I'm not sticking around this stupid place. You guys are rude. Sophie's out. Sophie's such a loser, right? Yeah, Britt, like I cannot believe you're friends with her. What you guys said was really rude. That's my best friend friend and I will not let you talk about her that way. Ew, wait, really? You like actually are friends with her? That is so sad. You guys are jerks. I'm out of here. Hey, Sophie, wait up. <coughs> Sophie, oh my gosh, are you crying? No, um, it was a bug that flew in my eye. Mm -hmm. Yep, Sophie doesn't cry. No. Nope. I'm so sorry about what those girls said. I told them they were being really rude. And that's unacceptable to treat someone that way. You defended me? I thought you wanted to be friends with those girls. They're super rich and popular. Not like me. So you're my best friend. And of course, I'll always defend you. That's what best friends do. Now, come on. Let's go hang out. We don't need to be at this stupid party anyways. Mom, I love relaxing by the pool with you. This is my favorite thing on earth to do. Mine too, Brittany. The pool is my happy place, really. Mom! Mom, I think our relaxation's over. I need a word with you, lady. Brenda, dude, what is your problem? Don't yell at mom. Mom turned off my credit card. Brenda, dear, I'm sorry, but I had to. You were spending way too much money. Oh, I knew you would say that. That's why I called grandmother. Oh, hello, dears. Now, Teresa, I need a word with you. How dare you be taking money away from my grandchildren? But mother, it's my decision. If I want to take the money away so they learn a lesson, I can do that. You are denying your grandchildren of the real life they deserve. Grandma, we have a really awesome life. We don't need the billions of dollars to be happy. <laughs> Oh, Brittany, your imagination is just adorable. Yeah, see, Grandma, I told you, Brittany is so weird. She doesn't understand anything. She wouldn't know a good life if it hit her in the face. That's not true, Brenda. I just don't need money to make me happy. I've been thinking. Girls, I'm going to show you what your life is supposed to be like. You'll be coming and staying with me for a little while. Granny, like, are you for real? That's amazing. 
thing. I, I didn't say the girls could go. Well, I don't care, Teresa. Brenda, Brittany, go pack your things. Fine, girls. Go spend time with your grandmother. Oh, girls, I've just had the greatest day in the world with you. What did you think? Grandma, oh my gosh, I can totally get used to this lifestyle. And Brittany, what about you? I don't know, Grandma. I mean, it's been really nice spending time with you, but all these fancy things just aren't really for me. Listen here, Brittany. Your mother denied you this life, and you deserve it. I don't know why you have to be so ridiculous about it all. Yeah, dude, are you serious? This life is amazing. Our other life is so dumb. Well, I don't think it's dumb. Whatever. Grandma, I need way cooler stuff for my bedroom. My stuff is so old and small and poor looking. Oh my goodness, Brenda, I will not have any of that. Come along, the furniture store is right over here. Oh man, I don't wanna go into another store. Oh, hello, Karen. Long time no see. Hello, Monica. So you brought some shoppers with you, huh? Yeah, lady, and I want one of everything. Ooh. And, and, and I want a vintage chandelier. Well, I'm sorry. We don't have any vintage chandeliers just hanging around. Grandma! You hear this woman? Wait, what is going on? I told your friend here we don't have vintage chandeliers. This is an outrage. How dare you deny my granddaughter what she wants? Look, lady, I don't know what to tell you. If we don't have it, we don't have it. Well, I want you to call the president of your company and get one fashioned for my granddaughter. And I will not come back to this store if you don't get us exactly what we want. Grandma, you might want to relax. It's not a big deal. Brittany, quiet down. Grown-ups are talking. Look, lady, I'll do the best I can to find you one, all right? Come over to the register and we'll pay. See, Brenda, you just have to get a little forceful and you'll get your way. Noted, Granny. Thank you. All right, so your total is $120,000.45. Is that cash or credit? And that'll be credit. Here. All right, um, yeah, your card has been declined. That can't be. Brenda? You were the last one with my credit card, weren't you? Oh, <laughs> yeah, I actually took it when you weren't looking and did some more online shopping. Brenda, I cannot believe you spending all this money. Now we're going to have to return everything I bought you today. Grandma, you said I could keep all these things and I'm going to. Brenda, no, no, wait a minute. Ho hold on, hold on. Hey, Mom, I'm home. I've missed you so much. Brittany, dear, I'm so glad to see you. How was being with your grandmother? No, being a billionaire, I guess, was kind of cool, but I like my normal life a lot better. Brittany, I am just so glad that you haven't changed a bit. If you keep working hard, maybe you can make your own billions of dollars. But uh, I must ask you, where's Brenda? About that. So we were at the furniture store. Mom, I can't believe it. Your mother is the worst mother and grandmother ever. Oh boy, here we go. Grandma cut me off of her money and now I'm broke. I knew I should have kept this all a secret and I knew it would go to your head. You don't handle exciting news well, Brenda. Now I'm poor. Why don't you get a job? And that way you can make your own money. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. You're so, ah, I can't believe you. 